What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we're going to be doing a full video mod review on Flying Castles which is a brand new mod for 1.16.5 Java Edition and it is so much fun to play around with. So if you enjoy the video be sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel definitely be sure to subscribe. We have a ton of Minecraft content and I'm sure you'll enjoy some of our stuff. So let's get right into it. So the Flying Castles mod, as you can see, spawns these flying platforms way up in the air. They have a thin layer of dirt, gravel, and stone, and then they have a castle or other forms of building on top of it, and new villagers, and lots of enemy knights. So these knights are actually pretty powerful just because of how many there are. They will take you down if you're not prepared for them, so definitely be ready for that. The ones in gold armor are especially careful and it's probably better if you just knock them off the platform rather than full out fighting them. So there are a ton of these hostile knights on top and I decided to go in with full enchanted netherite armor and tools and it still turned out to be a pretty tough challenge. So you're definitely going to want to be very prepared before going into one of these or at least use a bit more strategy than I did which was just to run in full force. The castles and stables also have a lot of chests in them. There's guard rooms, archer towers, and a ton of new content to explore with this. It definitely adds a fun, exciting aspect to your world and is just something very cool to play around with, especially if you're trying to go for a RPG type game. As you can see, there are at least two more just within the site of this one that I'm standing at. So there's gonna be a lot of them just around the area and you're not gonna have any troubles finding one if you're willing to go just a little ways away from wherever you are. Another very cool feature of these flying castles is that they actually spawn based on the current biome. So as you can see here, we have one that's based largely off the jungle biome beneath it. This one is based off the swamp biome beneath it and so on and so forth. I even found one that had a lot of dark oak going on around it and it looked extremely cool. So if you're wanting one that's specific to a biome, you're definitely going to be able to find that. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the loot that you can actually find in these places. I only managed to find, I think, two diamonds in the one that I explored and then I found a lot of obsidian, iron armor, and a lot of food. So if you're hoping to get a lot of diamonds from raiding one of these, that's not very likely but you do have a good shot at emeralds, iron, and food. So if you're looking for any of those items, this is a great thing for you to explore. Any of these floating platforms that you can find would also make a great base as well once you clear it all out. After you get rid of the mobs and light everything up, it would definitely be super fun to be able to expand on these castles and turn it into something very cool and unique to your own world. Personally, I'm a huge fan of castles in Minecraft and also floating islands, so the combination of those two things in this mod is very cool for me. All in all, this is definitely one of my favorite mods that has come out so far this year, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who wants to add some flying castles to their world. I also have to add that there are three different versions of this mod. You can download it with the knights and have the hostile version of it, or you can download an empty version of it so it's just the plain old castle, or you can also download a version of it where it just has villagers and iron golems and it spawns like a normal village. These varieties leave a ton of options for you to do uh, with adding it to your world. I prefer the hostile one just because it adds a new fun element to the game, but you can download whichever one you want. Pairing this with a mod such as the Waystone uh, mod would allow you to easily teleport back up to these flying temples and you could definitely make a lot of cool bases with these. So if you're looking for this mod it is in the description down below and you can go and download it there for Curse for from CurseForge. Uh, this mod is a Forge mod and for 1.16.5 and Minecraft Java Edition. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of different Minecraft content. And if you're interested in mods, we have put most of our mod videos into a playlist, which you can find uh, at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.